<laughs> Sunday morning here. I did a lot last night. A ton. Do you see what I did right back there? So I didn't know if you guys knew this about me, but I am an avid reader. Since I moved into this house, and I've been here for almost eight years now, I have had my my all my books, tons of books, in these huge bins, those huge store bins. Look at Sasha. She had to come in. Sasha! The mortar, the mortar, the mortar. Okay. I've had all my books in these boxes, and you know, like the big con storage containers. So. I decided that I wanted to revamp kind of the way I've been using my storage in this room. I have a lot of wasted space, so I decided to clean off the crap that was on that right there, and I put all my books in it. I'm so excited about the way it came out. Yes, I love Twilight. Half an upper shelf Twilight, okay? I have multiple copies. That's a whole, that's a whole thing. I didn't jump on the Twilight bandwagon when it very, when the first book came out. I found out about Twilight right when they started to make the movie because I was watching, uh, listening to Z100 and Daniela Monero was talking about the sparkly vampire in Twilight, whatever, whatever. And she was like, oh, they're making a movie about it. I said, oh, well, I like vampire books. I read the Southern Vampire Mystery series, which is the Sookie Stackhouse books, you know, True Blood but before they were called True Blood. I got the Twilight books, when all four of them, the, when all four of them were already out. Only the first book was out in paperback though. So I got the first copy in paperback and the other copies in hardcover. I read them all in a week. I took a week off from work because I had a week off from work. And I read them all in one week and I was just obsessed. I read each Twilight book seven times except for New Moon. The second book I only read twice because it was so damn depressing. Anywho, so I have the first hard, the first book in paperback. Then I got them all in hardcover because I had the, the, the second, third, and fourth books in hardcover. So I got the first book in hardcover so I have both copies and then I was like, all right, well, I already have the soft cover in the first book, so I want the soft cover in all the books. So as they came out in soft, I got them all in soft. So I have two copies of all four Twilight books, and I actually have three copies of the first book because someone gifted me a copy of the first book, not knowing that I had already read it, and it's ridiculous. So I've got all the DVDs over there. I have the short Second Life of Brie Tanner. I have uh, Midnight Sun. I have two copies of this book which is the illustrated, uh, the illustrated guide. Someone gifted me this too. So I have two copies of this. I have one over here. I don't know why I have it over here, but I have it over there too. Ridiculous. So yes, I love Twilight. I still love Twilight. The movies, no, they were not great. I still watch them because I love them and I love the books more. Anyway, that is my books. Those are my books. I don't even know how many books I have over there. They're, they're two levels deep right now. So you see books in the front and then there's stacks in the back. So there's two levels of books on each square. I tried to separate it by author. Like I have my Jane Green books down there and then the Jennifer Weiner books. And then I've got books to the right that I haven't read yet. I've got Jane Heller books to the left. I have Marion Keys. I have my Charlene Harris books. I have my E.L. James books. Most of my dirty books are on e-reader. So yeah, that's just a little, a little snippet. Let me raise this chair because I am low. So we're gonna get ready really fast. Those Clinique wipes that I got from Ulta yesterday are going back. They are trash. I should have known they were trash because it was from the girl with the attitude. What do we wanna wear on our face today, guys? I'm thinking I'm gonna do the It CC Cream because I haven't worn this on camera yet. So I was thinking maybe I'd do that. I was looking for something a little less, you know, in your face today. I am slightly nervous though that this formula is not gonna work with this, the It Cosmetics CC Cream. So if it doesn't, we're gonna take it right off. But let's try it. So this is the Glowish by Huda Beauty. We're gonna put this on. So I try not to use this kind of primer when I'm using kind of skincare products on my face, but I'm gonna put this all over just to keep it even. Yesterday night, last night after we last spoke, I did a lot of stuff around the house. 
I don't have the most gigantic house ever. I have a lot of rooms though. I have a lot of rooms. I've got five bedrooms technically. My fitness pal is threatening me right now. They're like, you haven't logged. You haven't logged your meal. Did you know that? Did you know that you haven't logged your meal? I know. I know my fitness pal. Don't test me. I'm thinking that maybe a beauty blender might be the best for this. So let me bust out a beauty blender. Sometimes I, I whiten up. Uh, I dampen it with MAC Fix Plus. Maybe because I'm lazy and I don't want to go wet it. Don't judge me. Okay? I don't like that. You guys should know that by now. I don't like to be judged. So yeah, I had a really good day today, uh, yesterday. Super productive. Super productive. Oh, that's what I was saying before I got sidetracked because God forbid I don't get sidetracked. I have a little home gym that I made that I don't use enough. I'm going to explain to you why I don't use it enough. <sighs> now that I've done fidgeting. So my home gym, I don't use a lot because two pumps back of the hand. I don't use it a lot because I have an elliptical and I feel like the elliptical is too close to the ceiling. Yeah, I have a proximity issue. I'm telling you, I am extremely claustrophobic. And, and if I feel like I'm too close to the ceiling, I just, I get, I don't like it at all. This color is like sucking all the life out of my face. <laughs> I'm gonna have to definitely add something back in. I'm so close to the ceiling when I'm standing on the elliptical machine and it makes me uncomfortable because my ceilings aren't like 10 feet high. They're what? Standard. What is that? Eight feet? I don't even know. I think eight feet is standard or seven and a half feet or something. When I get on the elliptical machine, I feel like I'm so close to the ceiling because I'm so high and <laughs> like it makes me uncomfortable. And then I just, I try to get out of my head. I have a TV mounted on the wall in the gym. So I try to just watch TV. I'll watch movies like The Matrix over and over again when I'm working out. But I just, I keep, I like, I can't get out of my head about it. So I don't wind up using that gym very often. I wind up working out like in my living room. <laughs> oh, that's productive. I have literally dedicated a room to vacuum cleaners, an elliptical, a weight set, and a TV. Yes, yeah, my back. I have multiple vacuums. Multiple vacuums. There's a problem there. Going back to the this. This looks pretty good. This looks pretty good on the primer. Yeah, all right, so I'm pleasantly, I think if I would have used a brush, it wouldn't have worked. That's just my opinion. This was only, this was only, this was two pumps of the foundation. Well, it's not really foundation, it's what, CC cream? Yeah, Nude Glow CC cream. Yeah, I think, what do you guys think? I mean, I look a little pale with the lighting, but in person, it looks good, it matches. I'm dressed like a ballerina today, by the way. I'm wearing a Halara skirt that I got on TikTok. It's got the little shorts. It's ridiculous. Let's do this. I filmed a video on this 10 set of nudes from ColourPop. There was a color in here that I wanted to use. So maybe we'll use that and we'll kind of base it off that. Hmm, let's see. I've got a Rare Beauty blush I could wear. This might be nice. Yeah, let's do this. This was Rare Beauty. Uh, this is called Hope. I'd gotten this as a free sample. I try to look for the free sample stuff that I get when I'm making ultra purchases. So what happens is they'll give you coupon codes and they'll say, uh, you know, a free $75, uh, it's worth $75 if you buy it online. So a lot of times, okay, that's pretty, but it like disappeared. So, so I'll pay attention and if the the gift with purchase is really nice. I'll actually place a small online purchase, you know, like the minimum for the free gift. I'll do it online. Okay, look, that added color right back in. This is my hot take. I think that all companies should sell, let's blend this in before it dries. I think all companies should sell little trial sizes like this. They sell big, big, big tubes of product, which let's get real. No one's only using one blush, unless you're that kind of person, which if you are, I'm not insulting you. But most people don't use one blush until it runs out. To use all of this would take applications every single day for at least six months. 
why don't they just sell sizes this big? Instead, they sell huge sizes of products that you would never go through. Elf, I would have to use this every single day for two years for this to run out. This is so much blush. And it's just wasteful. My skin looks dynamite. Okay. You know what? Let's use concealer from our trip yesterday. So let's use the Kosas concealer. I have so many mascaras today and we're going to use one of them because we went on the hunt yesterday. This is the Kosas Revealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. This is a prayer, guys. This is a prayer because I did not check the color before I got it. Let's hope. We're hoping this is going to be all right. It looks thick. <laughs> she thick. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Uh, I'm going to start off with it here. We will say these. Okay, I don't like the brush. <laughs> I'd rather use my finger for concealer, honestly. I'm not a huge brush concealer person. I, I, I acknowledge it can work. I just, I've never been a huge foundation brush person. I'd rather use a beauty blender. I'll use a foundation brush, but it's not my favorite. I think that worked okay, right? It doesn't look, it doesn't look like it's creasing or anything. Okay, so we'll keep it. We'll keep you close us. See, small concealer, you can try it out. And they have so many different shades, which I really, really like. Okay, I'm gonna prime the eyes. Let's prime the eyes. We're gonna go old school with MAC Painterly. Let's go with the concealer brush. Where is one? So, oh, yesterday. So yesterday I posted a TikTok video because people were asking about my ring, right? The ring. I have so many different rings, so I posted yesterday, well, you will have seen early in the video, I'm talking about my Modern Gents ring. So it is not sponsored, they do not pay me, but it's the type of thing where I like something, I'm gonna talk about it. And I've been wearing their, you know, cruelty-free, what do they call it? Not cruelty-free, uh, conflict-free diamond rings, which are just CZs, I don't know why they just don't wanna call them CZs, but their CZ rings and someone commented like, oh, can you show us your collection? Cause I said, I have so many of these rings. I've paid for all of them with my own money. Modern Gents has never sent me anything for free. You know, they've never even reached out to me. So I'm wearing, and I brought all my rings in to show you guys, look. So this is, I think this is called the Elena. This is a uh, oval shape. I think all, most of their rings are three carat. So this is a three carat. This is the Elena. I, this was my first Modern Gents ring. I love, 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 love this ring. Love it. Did I say that I love, love, love it? I wish they would make a pot concealer that was fingernail friendly. <laughs> because sometimes when I stick my fingers in there, which I get it, isn't hygienic, but it's my product and I don't care. <sighs> my nail sticks into it. It happens with concealer too. I, I get it, that's why they have a spatula, but when I use a spatula, I always take off too much product, always. I just scoop it, and I don't, I'm not gonna put it back in. Oh, we're showing you the rings. So this is the Elena. I'm not sure of all the names of the rings. So this is the, this is, this is the ring that I wear all the time. When I tell you I get compliments on this, this is the cushion cut. This is a three carat cushion cut. I wear this ring almost every single day. I mean, I've been wearing it for years. I am obsessed with this ring. It's my second one. The first one, the setting was a little loose, so I got another one. They said that I could return it, but I was lazy and I just bought another one. I am obsessed with this ring. It is gorgeous. The amount of people that compliment this ring is ridiculous. Every day it works. Your ring, oh my God, your ring is so beautiful. I got the same ring, the cushion cut with the halo. Stunning. This doesn't sit as well with my, the ring I wear as my wedding ring. So it's, it's still so, I mean, stunning. And then I also have the radiant cut. Look at this. So pretty. This is what I'm talking about. I like to switch up my rings. You don't have to spend twenty, thirty thousand dollars on it and an engagement ring. So I think I've shown them all. Oh, and then obviously the one I was wearing yesterday, 
which does not go with my wedding ring at all. But so I'm feeling like I want to wear my the oval ring today. I'm in the oval ring kind of mood. I'm not sure the names of all of them, but I'll I'll put it somewhere in the description. So I have one, two, three, four, five of their rings. I thought I had the emerald cut. I returned it. I forgot. I didn't like it at all, so I did send it back. So I don't have the emerald. I was wrong. I said in my video, in my TikTok, that I have the emerald cut. No, I have the emerald cut. I returned the pear cut. Yeah. Where is my emerald cut? I don't know where it is. All right, well, I've shown you enough. Because I was like, no, I have the emerald cut. I kept the emerald cut. I returned the pear shape. I didn't like the pear shape. It just looks funky on my hands. I didn't like it at all. Anyway, let's let's just put some freaking eyeshadow on, okay? I decided to use the Naked Heat the palette today for Urban Decay. I figured we'd keep the Urban Decay thing going on. <sighs> you know what's crazy? I looked up really quick to see what Urban Decay palettes are still available. One, two, and three of the Naked palettes aren't available anymore. They're relaunching the one for a short period of time. I can't believe it. I'm going to stick to kind of like the more neutrally shades here. But I... I didn't realize they got rid of Naked 3. I guess they saturated the market, but it's rose gold. Most people love mauve rose golds, so I'm very surprised that they got rid of that palette. So, you know, I wanted to say to you guys, I've been trying to be my authentic self. I was, I was talking to Matt about this yesterday. I'm trying to be my authentic self in my videos. Good, bad, or ugly. I feel like over the years, my presentation has has changed or varied based on just how I'm feeling at the time. I don't necessarily think that I've ever been fake on here. However, I don't feel like I've always been my most authentic self. So I'm trying to do that. All right, I'm using the highlighter in the palette. It looks a little dark. It looks a little dark. I mean, it looks like it would be light, this one, but I feel like, is there a sheen on it? Oh, there's a sheen. Anyway, so I'm going to do a little, I need a blending brush. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, Coastal Sands, first one we grabbed. So yeah, I'm trying to be my, mo my most authentic self in these videos. I'm trying to not filter so much. I'm trying to not... Well, except for the ums. I'm trying not to say um as much. <laughs> I just want to have real conversations with you guys. Not like nonsense and bullshit conversations, you know? Not that talking about makeup is bullshit. I love talking about makeup. But I also want to talk about real stuff, you know? Like sexy books. <laughs> Who's that? Balloon! Have you guys ever met Balloonie? Hi, Balloon! Oh, don't go anywhere, my baloney, no! <laughs> so, my cat, that's Daisy. I call her baloney. So, let me explain. Simon, who I always make jokes about how he came in to ruin the day, that's Simon's sister, actual sister. So, they were from the same litter, and Daisy has CH, which is wobbly cat disease. So, when, she, when we first got her, she used to go like this. She, her, she's strengthened because she's two years old now, but when we first got her, she used to wobble, a lot but she still she kind of walks like this and her hind legs kind of will kick out from behind her her right I think it's the right hind leg will kick out behind her I started calling her Daisy and then Daisy wibbles and then the wibbleoni and then just baloney so now I just call her baloney or balloons I go balloons these are balloons so all my cats have multiple nicknames except for really Simon he has the fewest nicknames out of all my cats. Simon is just Simon, and then I call him Simon, uh, Simon, uh, like that. And then I'll call him um, Spooky Boy. And who's my Spooky Boy? Because, you know, he'll be in the dark and you won't see him, and then he'll just like pop up. So I say he's spooky. So he's my Spooky Boy. What do you guys think of this eyeshadow? That's kind of basic, right? You're alright with that? So I call him my spooky boy, and then he's my little prince, and he's my little black prince. I love him. He's just the best. He's the best boy. All my cats kind of have special needs, except for Simon. 
What do we want to put on the lid? I'm thinking loom, lumbre, lumbre. Let's let's check out lumbre. Is it? Mm, do we want to? We're gonna do it. It's a little. It's a little on the kind of peachy, fiery side. I feel like this eyeshadow is going to morph into something more than I wanted it to. <laughs> so this is what's happened. <laughs> I wanted to go neutral today. I don't know how this happened, guys. The, the shadow, I just couldn't make it work for me today. And I just, it kept getting more and more blown out. I almost want to take it off. And it's not what I was looking to do today. And there's like this little spot here that I can't get to blend. I don't know what's happening over here, but it's like not blending correctly. And it's driving me crazy. This is what happens, real talk. Sometimes our eyeshadow gets away from us. I almost want to just like wipe it off, but you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to do the mascara. We're going to do the mascara. We need some hella thick eye, um, some lashes to, to offset what we've done to our eyes. <laughs> All right. This is the little packaging. This is Fenty Beauty. We need some hella thick non smudging lashes today. All right. I'm not super impressed by the first coat. I mean, it's not changing my life. I mean, how could I even see my lashes when I can barely see my eyelid because of all this eyeshadow? I feel like it's not clinging to all of my lashes, if that makes any sense. Like, it's not giving my lashes any length. I know it's supposed to be thickening, but my eyelashes look weak, man. They look weak. This was a Sephora Favorites. I'm, like, not impressed. If anybody uses this, this, this product, please... Tell me. I'd love to know if I'm doing something wrong. And I have a lot of lashes. It's not like I have no lashes. Mm -mm, I don't like that at all. I'm not going to double up on my mascara because, you know, we're testing to see if this smudges, but no. No. You know what? I'm going to use it for the bottom lashes too. I was going to use my bottom lash mascara, but then I'm not going to know if it's the bottom lash uh, clumping on me or this. I mean, I was smudging, so I'm going to use a little bit of this. The problem is, though, like, even if this doesn't smudge, this doesn't make my lashes look nice. I'm disappointed, and I hate being disappointed in a product. All right, so I'm going to take the darkest shade in the Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. You know, today was kind of an eye fail because I didn't love the Urban Decay shadows either. I'm trying to grab the darkest shade in this palette. That's like not adding any color to my lid. Sometimes when eyeshadows have nothing to stick to, the formula, like if it's a drier formula eyeshadow, it it just dusts right off. And I think this is what's happening right now with this Urban Decay eyeshadow. And I'll be getting like super fallout. I mean, my lashes normally look much better than this. Well, let's add a little something to our cheeks because now our cheeks are dead. No. Let's find something here. Yeah, so I love the way my face looked yesterday. Today, not so much. I hate it when that happens. Okay, I found a little fan brush. I'm going to use cookie highlighter. I'm hoping cookie highlighter will make me happy. Ooh, the cookie. Cookie, cookie. Who watches The Office? I need to know. Because that was an off and swap. That was an off and swap. The cookie, cookie. <laughs> oh, I'm putting all this makeup on literally to go to Ulta to return that those those face wipes and let's do a little blendy blendy blend like these so for lips for lips I wanted to you I'm very disappointed on this mascara guys Ugh. so for lips I'm thinking oops, I had something in mind previously but now I don't so, I don't want any of the darkest shades because those two didn't work for me. So let's take those off, but need this shade. I think this should get work. What do you think? This is what called BFF. Yeah, BFF. All right. I'm going to do something cray. I need to lighten up this eyeshadow. It's driving, it's driving me crazy. I'm going to take kitten. No, maybe I'll take this. This is an old ColourPop shadow or kitten. Yeah. Let's. 
We can take Steeler Kitten, actually. I'm gonna do it. I can't look at this eyeshadow. It's driving me crazy. Let's see. This is what happens sometimes. Makeup. Sometimes it's, it's, it's just, it's not doing it. It's not doing what it needs to do. So we need to change it. I hear nails. <gasps> that time was back. Not to mention like this little shadow right here. Driving me nuts. See this little shadow? Can you see it? Driving me insane. And let's just figure out what we're gonna do for those lips, huh? Sakima, what have you done? You've turned on the mirror? This is called Pretty Pretty Natural by MAC. Could this work? And then let's do a little bit of that lip liner back on top. We need a little bit of gloss. We need some gloss. Gloss, hello. All right, we need to get going because we have a Walmart order that is being delivered and this return is not gonna return itself. So let's go. Okay, I'm on my way to Ulta to return the, the Clinique wipes. They burned my eyes. I mean burned. And I told the girl too, I was like, I don't like using the take the day off the bomb on my eyes because it made my vision really blurry. So she's like, no, the wipes don't do that. The wipes do that. Not only do the wipes do that, but they also burn. So those are going back and those are $20. Like, hell no. One thing I will say, oh God, I don't know if you guys knew this. When I do my Walmart orders, I'm so embarrassed. When I do my Walmart orders, I use PayPal because I, I don't know, I didn't want to link a credit card to my Walmart plus when I do the Walmart orders. So I've always tipped, always, always, always tip my drivers because they use like a DoorDash system, whatever. So I noticed today that there's no tipping option on there. So I call Walmart and I don't know if they changed it, but it says that you can't tip if you're using PayPal. What the serious fuck? I'm so, I'm so embarrassed. I have no cash. So I'm hoping I can go get cash. This, this defeats the purpose of, of, a, of a delivery. I'm hoping I can get some cash and get home before my delivery arrives. It, it arrives between 20, 12 and two, it's 12, 18. So I'm hoping I could get the cash on the way home from doing my Ulta uh, return to be able to tip them. I don't carry cash. I never have cash. I'm so embarrassed. So now when I call, I'm like, can you guys please add a tip? And she's like, no, if you use EBT or PayPal, you can't tip. I'm like, okay, EBT and PayPal are two very different things. I get not being able to add a tip for EBT. Okay, that's from the government. Uh, that makes sense. You can't, you know, whatever. But this guy's like, yeah. But to not be able to add a tip using PayPal is total ridiculousness. I'm so mad. I have always used PayPal and I've always been able to tip. And they made me update the app, I don't know, a week ago? Something like that. And now I can't leave a tip. And I, I didn't notice because the tip automatically populates. So I go back on and I'm trying to see what time it's coming. Like if they're, you know, in transit to see, you know, if I have time to go out to Ulta and make this return before they come. Because they started shopping for my order already. And I noticed that there's no tip on there. So I chat with Walmart on the app. They call me back and they're like, yeah, you can't leave a tip if you're using PayPal. I've always, always, always left a tip using PayPal. I don't understand. This really, I'm, I'm so horrified that someone's gonna come to my house right now and not get a tip. So I'm hoping I can go out and come back and like hand them a tip. I'm hoping Ulta will just give me cash back 
for this this clinic stuff and then I could just use that to tip them. Otherwise, I have to go to an ATM and I know an ATM is not gonna give me, they're gonna give me $20. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be cheap, but I'm not, I'm not tipping $20 for my Walmart order. That's excessive. So I'm gonna have to go in somewhere and get cash back, actually. That's what I'm gonna do. You know what I thought about last night? I actually thought about saying something about that rude girl that was working at Ulta. I'm not going to. I, I thought about it though. I was telling Matt about it and I was like, well, who's to say that they're not like talking about all the customers like that, you know? But it's just, they were so brazen to do it in front of me. I'm not gonna say anything, but like I want to. I wanna be a Karen about it. All right, I'm going in. Goodbye. All right. <sighs> Unfortunately, I just got a text from Walmart saying that my items are on track for delivery at 12.28. It's 12.26. I'm not gonna get there in time. Oh my God. I'm more than two minutes away from my house. Oh, are we sure it's 12.26? I hate this world. <laughs> Usually they tell you when they're leaving Walmart and I'm like a 10 minute drive from Walmart. Oh, it's one minute from now. I'm not gonna catch them. Damn it. I'm so embarrassed. So, and the girl, she was from another country. I'm not gonna say what country. But she was like, well, tipping isn't necessary because they do get paid from their delivery service. Walmart pays the delivery service. And I'm like, what do they get paid? And she was like, well, they get paid. I'm like, okay, but what do they get paid? Are they getting paid by the hour? Are they getting paid by the percentage of the delivery? Like, what are they getting paid? So I feel less shitty about this. And the girl had no idea. I hate that US companies outsource phone, phone calls to other countries. It's like sometimes the empathy's not there, you know? And it really makes me angry. I'm gonna go to Key Food and I'm gonna run in quick and I'm gonna get turkey breast. I'm gonna get turkey breast because that's what I want for lunch. And that's what mama wants for lunch. Because mama always wants turkey breast. She is a turkey breast whore. Every time I get, I get this, it's like a store, it's like a store brand, uh, cold cut. And it's the, it's, I think it's Purdue. It's just very benign. It doesn't have a ton of, seasoning it's almost like the oven gold by uh what is it called Her, um horse head it doesn't have a ton of flavor well no that's not true I, it has like turkey flavor but it doesn't have a ton of seasoning so it's very just mild so sometimes i'm just not in the mood for a ton of seasonings i do like honey maple turkey it is my favorite Oh, in case you guys didn't notice, I removed half my makeup. Yeah, I wiped up so much of my eyeshadow, I couldn't even stand the way I looked. I had turned off the camera, and I'm staring at the mirror, and I'm like, nope, nope, nope. I would have literally removed all of my eye makeup had I had, I had time for it. I loved, loved loved my makeup yesterday the red lip the light eye the, the the lashes the brow I loved the way my face looked yesterday today my face card is declining it's declining yesterday it was approved today it's declined I don't know so sometimes normal people just feel this way that they're unhappy with the way they look it does happen so it's just life Today is not a good face day. But I hate it when I feel that way because I'm always so excited to put on makeup, you know? When I, it started off so promising when I started with the, the It Cosmetics uh, uh, BB cream or CCC cream. I thought it was very promising. My skin looked dewy and nice and then we put on the Kosas concealer and it was still looking good. Then something about that eyeshadow palette just sent me on the decline. I really don't like that palette. I 
I don't like that palette. And then the freaking Fenty mascara. Oh, like lashes, where? Where are my lashes? I'm very unhappy with my lashes right now. And I think that sample was like, it was the travel size, I think it was like $13 or $11, something like that. Way too much money for this kind of crappy mascara. Maybe for a secondary coat, like if you apply something first for length and then you add this for volume, but I didn't even feel like it gave me a lot of volume. It definitely didn't give me separating volume. Absolutely not. This mascara just isn't for me. So I, I just thought it, uh, I don't know. I'm usually loving my lashes and today, no. Yesterday, I liked my lashes. I did, I liked it. Why are there so many dead animals on the road? Nassau County needs to step up their game and start cleaning up these dead animals because I, when I see animals that have gotten hit by cars, the depression that I feel. Going to work, it takes me at least a half hour every day to go to work, at least. Some offices I go to, it's longer. Some it's, one of them is shorter. But I see so many animals that have gotten hit by cars every day and when I tell you it just it gets me so upset I know it's it's part of living in a living in a populated <laughs> town or whatnot but it's very upsetting what is this person doing is she about to pull into that spot I don't think so okay so oh there's a cart that's why she didn't grab that spot all right so yeah, seeing dead animals on the road, uh, uh, what do you see a lot of? I see a lot of um, squirrels, possums, and raccoons, and cats. And I see cats. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna run into Keyfood really quick. Okay, just, I'll just be a minute. All right, we're back. We had some lunch. We have some chips in our bra. <laughs> Yesterday, well, two days ago, I had popcorn. I had the, 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 what do they call it? It's that Smart Pop or whatever. I have the little bags uh, that come in the Bake Lays box that I get from Walmart. And <laughs> I guess some fell into my bra, and then I, I just, I kind of like went into my bra to like itch a boob, and I found a piece of popcorn. <laughs> I ate the piece of popcorn. I, dug out of my bra. It was pretty wild. Uh, anyway, let's do a quick update on the Fenty Beauty mascara. So it's been, what, four hours. Normally I would have at least some sort of smudging by now. I have a little bit. I have a little bit of smudging. Not terrible, but I do have some. I'm not really sure how to work these updates, honestly, because it's going to be so random, but I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll put the description, you know, the details in the description. I'm trying on this NYX Butter Gloss with the little glitter in it. It was sitting right next to me, and I decided I want to try it. Just as we were sitting here. I think the Butter Gloss has literally the best smell out of all the lip glosses ever. That's pretty. It's a glitter. Right? Oh, okay. Okay, butter gloss. I wish I got that third one, unfortunately, that they missed in my bag. <laughs> they missed it in my bag. I like that. Look how pretty that is. Okay. Well, it doesn't make me feel any better about my eyeshadow. Honestly, today wasn't a great day. I think what I might wind up doing, I know how to make it better. I'm going to take a little one of my little wipes and I'm going to remove some of this eyeshadow. I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it today. And if you're not feeling it, that's okay. Let's see. Where did it get wet? And I'm a big advocate of if you don't like it, take it off. There's no reason to scowl around with makeup that you want, don't want to see all day. I'm starting to feel better already. <laughs> I 
I just, I wasn't into it. I'm not into the eyeshadow. I hate to say that I don't like that Naked Heat palette from Urban Decay. There's something about the shadows. They were just very, they were very dry and they just didn't work for me. I didn't like them. The shades just, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it at all. So, there we go. I really didn't want to have to look at myself for the rest of the day with that eyeshadow on. It just, it wasn't working for me. So, now, no eyeshadow. Good. Much better. It, it's a horrible feeling, really, to walk around all day and just know that you don't love the way something looks. Oh, I hate that. This is just a little color pop, little shimmer, little shim shima. Put a little bit of that on on my lid. Just a little. Hmm, pretty. What color is this anyway? This is Koosh, Super Shock Shadow. Just it's almost taupey, but it's just shimmery. See, just a little bit. Ugh. So what does the rest of my day hold? The rest of my day, we're gonna zoom you out a little so you're not totally in the grill. The rest of my day, I started watching the show, first of all my bra, like it won't stay under my little bra strap, under my, my shoulder strap. I started watching my time with the Walter Boys. I love, love shows like that on Netflix. I really liked uh, Kissing Booth, what was the other one? Uh, the Summer I Turned Pretty, I think that was Amazon. I, I like little hokey shows like that. I recently watched School Spirit. I think School Spirits, School Spirits. So I thought that was very cute. I tried to get my mom to watch it and she didn't like it at all. Oh, what do you guys think of my little retro feather earrings? <laughs> or feather, they're like leaves, little gold leaves. They're from my mom from the 90s. That's what made me think of uh, saying something. I was wearing this gold necklace and this was hers. She gave me a lot of her old jewelry. She just doesn't wear it anymore because she lives on a farm essentially. So she, um, I'm wearing this gold necklace and I didn't want to change the necklace. And I was originally wearing my long silver earrings that I got last week at TJ Maxx, but I didn't feel like it, did, it doesn't look good together, the two things. So I popped on these little gold bitties and I already have this gold leaf inside my ear. I mix my metals. I don't know if you guys do. I do. I love mixing metals. So I'll have gold and silver and rose gold. I mean, I have a rose gold earring here. This is regular gold. This is gold. This is gold. This is silver. These are silver. Uh, this is gold, rose gold, silver. So I don't care. There are no rules. If you like it, wear it. And I have all mixed metals on my bracelets. I have these permanent bracelets on my wrist. I started getting them years ago. I want to say four years ago. I got a couple of them in Dallas. I've gotten some in New York. I've gotten some in North Carolina. So they're just very, very, they're pretty. I've got seven of them now. And I love them. And I'm, I just, I'm going to wear them until they fall off. Honestly, I paid a lot of money for like the gold ones. I'm not taking them off. <laughs> I don't care why I got them. <laughs> I'm just never taking them off. Every day I'm going to try a new mascara. I'm going to go ahead and say this was pretty good for smudging. I'm going to say I didn't love the mascara though. I am going to try it without eyeshadow on and maybe with a primer. See if I like it any better. But I did not get a great first impression. Like my first wear with this mascara, I am not impressed. I'm thinking if I do a lengthening an, a lengthening product, maybe the Tarte tubing and then put this on top, maybe I'll get some volume out of it. Maybe I'll try that tomorrow. But that's all I got. I don't really have much else to say today. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you enjoy, enjoyed my random content today. I need for you guys to interact and subscribe if you haven't. If you interact with my video, it does get more views. That does help me out. If I'm going to make content, I want it to be worthwhile for you guys. Like I want you guys to see it. And I feel like not everybody is getting my content on their feed. My first video back did really, really well. And then some of my videos after that, I feel like aren't doing so great. I feel like people don't know it's out there. And then they find my content and they're like, 
oh my god you're back I'm like I've been back I've been back for a minute so if there's any video suggestions that you guys are looking for please let me know I hope you enjoyed this vlog of the weekend and I'm gonna go watch TV I really like this butter gloss it's pretty and I'm happy I took that freaking mess uh, the eyeshadow off I wasn't feeling it what I say in the card oh in the car <laughs> my face cards declining today well hopefully I can get an approval now <laughs> okay bye guys